Welcome to Horta Sketch, the ultimate garden planner. In this video, we will cover all the major features of Horta Sketch, so by the end, you will feel like a pro garden designer. Before we begin, we recommend utilizing Chrome, Edge, or Safari when using Horta Sketch. Here is a list of what we will cover in this video. Timestamps for this video are listed in the video description below. Navigation. Starting from the top, you can create a new plan, view a list of all your plans, print, undo, and redo, access settings, utilize the create tool, access planning and live mode, your growing calendar, notes, share your designs directly into the community, and access the icon selection dropdown. To navigate the canvas, simply left click and hold to drag the canvas around, or utilize your mouse wheel to zoom in and out, or use the plus and minus buttons on the bottom right hand corner. The hamburger menu in the top left can be utilized to quickly access your garden manager, the community, or other features of the main website. If you wish to share your garden designs or discuss gardening with people around the globe, join the community or download the Garden Savvy app to easily access the community and garden AI. Creating a plan and settings. To create a new plan, select New. If this is your first time accessing HortaSketch, HortaSketch will automatically prompt you to create a new plan. When creating your plan, add a title, select the canvas background as dirt, grass, desert, or blank white screen. Enter your zip code so the growing calendar can make accurate recommendations for planting dates. Finally, set the dimensions for your plan in feet, yards, or meters. From the My Plans folder, you can select which plan you want to work in, delete, or duplicate an existing plan. The Undo and Redo buttons are great for fast adjustments. In settings, you can enable or disable the rulers, grid overlay, or disable planting guidelines. Planting guidelines are covered in the square foot gardening section of this video. Plants, objects, and features. Planting and placing objects in HortaSketch is simple. Navigate the drop-down menu to find the icon you wish to utilize. Simply drag and drop the icon onto the canvas. All objects in HortaSketch can be scaled by clicking and dragging the white square handle points. When selecting an object, you can also click the satellite handle to rotate the object. When selecting an edible or flower, dragging the handle will start planting additional plants. When planting this way, you can see a yellow bar that updates the number of plants and the required spacing in real time. While selecting an object, details about it are displayed in the window on the right, such as the length, width, growing and row spacing, number of plants, etc. You can also close out the menu or minimize the menu if you do not need access to the menu's information and features while planting. From this window, you can also duplicate or delete your selection, lock an object, or move an object forward or backwards on the canvas. Locking an object is the best way to prevent yourself from misclicking and sliding the wrong object. Moving an object backwards or forwards rearranges which object is displayed over or under one another. For example, when placing a greenhouse over your plants or placing a bench under a tree, you can push the objects forwards or backwards to have the desired effect. It is the perfect way to layer different icons so they can be accurately represented from a bird's eye view. On the top, you can toggle to build your garden in planning or live mode. Planning mode allows for the most freedom in building your design and is recommended for building your design. In live mode, a month selector appears. You can select a month to see how your garden might look in real life. Icons will disappear and reappear depending on the month selected. You can freely toggle between both modes. You can also change the year of your plan, allowing you to grow different plants in different years within the same plan. Square foot gardening and planting guidelines. Portisketch comes with default planting guidelines and recommendations taken from collegiate sources and master gardeners. But if you would like to plant closer or farther than recommended, you are welcome to make these adjustments. With planting guidelines enabled, if you try to plant too close to another plant, a red warning box will appear preventing you from doing so. If you want to plant tighter or looser than recommended, you can disable the planting guidelines from the settings menu. A prompt will ask you to confirm your selection because once you disable the planting guidelines, you can no longer enable them in your current plan. 
you will need to make a new plan to re-enable them. With planting guidelines disabled, you now have access to free planting. You are able to move plants as close to one another as you desire without the red warning box appearing. In the menu window, you will notice two additional editable fields. From these fields, you can manually adjust the planting and row spacing. If you plant with the square foot gardening method, you can type in the recommended square foot gardening spacing of each plant and watch the spacing update instantly within HortoSketch. Create tool, design objects and raised beds. The create tool gives you the power to freely draw objects and shapes on the canvas. Start by clicking the create button and a new menu will appear. In this menu, you have access to several tools. The pen tool enables you to freehand any shape. Select this tool, then left click on the canvas to start creating round object handles. Continue clicking until you create your ideal shape and close the loop. When using the pen tool, you must close the shape to complete it. The selection tool is the second step and is automatically selected after you create a shape using the pen tool. The selection tool is used if you want to scale your objects by selecting the handles or to move the shapes around the canvas. Similar to the icons from the drop-down menu, you can also move your shapes forwards and backwards on the canvas so you can stack multiple shapes. The Create tool also comes with pre-designed shapes to choose from. Left-click the shape, then left-click on the canvas and drag until the shape is the desired size. All shapes can be rotated utilizing the satellite rotation handle. From the menu, you can also adjust the transparency of your objects, round the corners, fill them with colors or patterns, and create a border. Here is a quick example of using the Create tool. I want to create a custom raised bed. I simply select the square, then drag it to my desired size. From here I click Fill, and then I choose a color or pattern. For my raised bed, I will fill it with a dirt pattern. Next, I will round the edges, and then add a border. My raised bed in this example is metal, so I will add a gray border to my raised bed. After filling my raised bed with vegetables, I decide to add a cold frame over it. To add a cold frame to my raised bed, I will create a new shape, adjust the color accordingly, then change the transparency to see through the plastic cover. This same technique is perfect for adding a greenhouse to your garden. Don't forget, you can move objects forwards and backwards to ensure transparent objects are always on top. PortaSketch has pre-built raised beds, greenhouses, and row cover icons. But if those sizes are not ideal for your garden, using the Create tool is the best way to construct your raised beds, your home, greenhouse, or any structure. When you finish with the Create tool and wish to navigate the canvas, click the X to close it. Growing Calendar to access the growing calendar, select it from the top menu. The calendar can be expanded to full screen or contracted with the expand button on the lower right corner. The growing calendar will display recommended indoor sow, outdoor sow, transplant and harvest or blooming dates. If you are trying to grow any plants that typically cannot be grown in your area, a message will be displayed warning you that it is not recommended for your growing zone. You can also edit the zip code of your plan here and the calendar will instantly update to the new growing zone. If you need help or have any questions on how to use HortoSketch, please contact us at info at